Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully installed our Laravel 7 and also we successfully installed our Laravel default authentication system. So now in this video, I want to do, I want to create one of the database for our project like that is our SAM. So right now our SAM is running. So now I want to access it as a local host and now go to that our phpMyAdmin and into the phpMyAdmin if you go to the database and into the database that is our database area. So for this project, I want to create one of the um, database name as a pro. Okay, I just define as a pro4 because I have already created one of the folder as a pro4. So now I want to create one of the database name as a pro4 and now I just simply click as a create. Now you can see it's pretty much simple things our database is now created. So for this project, I want to define that our database name as a pro4 and now I have to do, I have to add that pro4 in our that project area. So now if you go to our project directory, into the project directory, if you go to that env and into the env here you can see there is the database name, that is a database username and also that is a password. So now I just have created one of the um, database name as a pro4. So I just simply define that pro4 and that is our username as a root. So if you go to our local host and here there is our database area and if you go to that our user account and to the user account you can see right now I'm using that Sam and here by default our username as a root and also password that have no password. So right now it's, it's okay with me. You can see there is a database username as a root and now I don't have any password for the reasons I just put the things as a blank. Okay, so now it's perfect. So I just simply click on the save all. So that is our database name. If you go to the database and I have created one of the database as a pro4. So that is actually our database name. So that is our database. Perfect. So friend, we successfully created our database name and also we configured it. And now if you click on the refresh, yeah, now it's perfect. When you install that Laravel by default, Laravel give you one of the file. Like if you go to our app and the HTTP and you can see there is a user. So by default, there is a user, one of the model. And also if you go to the database, into the database, there is a migration, all that file. So by default, they have some of the table. Like one of the table as a user table, one of the table as a password reset table and also the fail job table. So now I want to do, I want to migrate it and if you click on the migrate then automatically it should be created some of the table in our database area. Okay, so I have already added our database. So now let's do that work. I just click on the save all and now go to our project directory. Here I define as a terminal as a CMD and now I just define as a PHP artisan and then migrate. Okay, I just simply define as a PHP addition migrate. Now if you click on the enter, now here it's showing some of the, one of the common, one of the mistake as a, a specific a key was too long. Okay, so we have to also update some of the file for this one, like I want to do that work. But if you go to your database and into the database, if you refresh it, you can see it's automatically added two of this file. So right now we don't need this because we have to update it again. So I just select two of these and here I drop it. I just simply drop it. So I just remove two of these because here we have to do that things again. Because you can see they have some of the um, things we have to update it. So if you want to update it, you have to do, you have to go to your project directory. And here you have to go to your, um, like there is a database and also there is a providers. So into the providers, there is a app service providers. Into the app service providers, you have to add that lean length. Okay, like here. They have some of the length you have to update. You can see there's a maximum length as a this one. So we have to update it. So you know what this method area, that means the boot method area. So here you have to define as a scream. So it's very much common. One of the things you will get that also from the Google. I just define as a scream and the default string length. Okay, I just simply define one of the string length. And for this one, I define as a 191. And also we have to use it that is actually smart so here we have to use it so better I just copy it and now I just paste it into the eliminate and there is a support and then you have to define that facet so here I don't need this I just remove it and here I define as a facet okay. with the facets here I want to add our this schema so here I just simply add that part 
So friend, that's all you have to do here. I just updated our length in our boot method area in our providers that is app service providers. So now if you click on the save all, okay, I just click on the save all. So our database is now clean. So now I want to migrate it again. So here I define as a PHP artisan migrate and I click on the enter. Yes, now you can see our migration table created successfully. That means our connection with our project and to the database is now perfect. Now if you click on that, go to the structure, you can see there is a by default, some of the table is created as a user, there's a password reset, the migration and the failed job. Okay, so everything is now perfect. And also if you refresh your project, yeah, it's not perfect. In our next video, I will discuss about what is MVC. So this will help you to make understand how that Laravel functionality, that means the MVC pattern actually work. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.